We are the International Open University. IOU has established itself as a leading online Islamic university. We offer a range of programs from a wide number of disciplines at various degree levels, including certificates, bachelors, and masters. Register today and enjoy a 10% discount when you enroll early. You and I know what happened in Turkey, Syria, and a few of the other places. A few other countries were affected as well. I want to start off by saying that those who say that this is a punishment of Allah, they have absolutely no right, no authority from Allah Almighty to declare that. There are so many innocent souls who have lost their lives, children, widows, uh, those who, are, who have struggled and suffered all these years, men and women, and you cannot, you cannot just declare that this is the punishment of Allah. In fact, a person who dies in this type of an earthquake would actually be considered a martyr uh, in rank in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's very dangerous to make those statements. We are saddened by what has happened. And this is, from what I see, one of the worst that I've known in my life. Uh, may Allah Almighty truly grant alle alleviation to those who are struggling at the moment. I want to quickly tell you that at Abdullah Aid, we've managed to send a plane load of uh, aid uh, through various channels and Alhamdulillah, it has gotten to the destination. Uh, I have posted a few uh, pictures of when it was leaving Amman, Jordan. And I will post a few videos and, and that shortly. But my brothers and sisters, uh, what was required in the initial hours and still is required, experts in rescuing those who are stuck under the rubble. So for people like you and I to, to go there and uh, you know to try and help with food, medicine, water and so on, in the initial days, they wanted us to back off a little bit in order to make way for those who are professionals in rescuing people from rubble. And as time passes, uh, slowly but surely, they're opening up to everyone else as well. But it's very important that only relief workers and those who are seriously going to be helping out uh, as well as families of those who are stuck. Like there are so many people across Europe who's, and, and not just Europe, but across the world, a lot of people of Turkish origin and people who have loved ones there, they are affected because their families are affected. So for them to go as well, uh, it's very cold, it's icy weather. With that rescue operations, people, a lot of survivors, many have lost their lives it's a very sad scenario so the assistance that you and i can render is that of food blankets water medication uh, that's the most important thing for now as well as some uh, warm clothing you know there are going to be makeshift tents that we would have to put up already they are there makeshift uh, tents uh, for people to stay even though the weather is freezing so it's really a tough situation so my brothers and sisters be careful don't say blatantly this is a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala many of us many Muslims when they see any calamity that has befallen on others they just show their fingers on them and they say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has punished them for their sin it's not like that in such level of tragedy in that area, a lot of righteous people were also staying. We might not know who is righteous and who is not. The condition of the heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. So we shouldn't just say it as a punishment. Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us. Are we reaching out to them? Are we running to them? Are we helping them? Are we making dua for them? What are we doing?